Yeah, I'm Stephen Rousset, Director of Architecture for ESI. Um, ESI is Extreme Scale Infrastructure, which I'll go into. Um, Karen? I'm, I'm assuming many of you haven't heard of ESI. You might have heard DCS, might have heard DSS. Um, ESI is kind of the umbrella organization for, for both of those. Um, DCS, for those that aren't familiar, um, started about nine years ago now. It's Data Center Solutions. And it kind of got started as a, kind of a startup within Dell, if you will. Um, there was a PowerEdge group that kind of noticed that there was this uh, segment, this hyperscale segment that was starting to form and needed optimized, customized servers. And that group kind of got started uh, with a small, small set of folks um, to go create these customized servers for these largest of the large data centers. Um, out of that was also born um, MDCs, modular data centers, which I'll also talk about a little bit. And as we started progressing along and, and noticing um, w there was a lot more uh, customers, if you will, that wanted to be cloudy. They wanted to, to take advantage of what they were seeing, um, not only from the cloud infrastructure, but from the, the type of hardware that was being put into the, these cloud, these cloud in installations. And from that, we said, hey, we can leverage not only the, the hyperscale hardware, but we can also look at leveraging some of the PowerEdge, kind of getting best of breed of PowerEdge, and maybe doing some tweaks, doing some customizations on it. Um, I think Brian had kind of mentioned that there was a set of, set of customers that, you know, they want uh, a different boot order. They want uh, a different firmware um, on, their, on their hard drives. Um, there were some customers that they really want a PowerEdge server, but they wanted a PMC or a micro semi control uh, now, a uh, PMC controller that PowerEdge hadn't qualified. DSS can kind of do that transactional um, model for them. You find a R630, you want a PMC controller on there, we can do that qualification for that customer. Um, and that's kind of what DSS is, is kind of about. Next. So if, if we look at um, this largest of the large, kind of the, the big 10, uh, I think we can probably all list off at least half of them. Um, th there's this other segment, and that's where DSS is kind of being focused. It's the, the oil and gas, the technical computing, the, the XSPs, right? The CSPs, TSPs, MSPs, th this huge shift. You're seeing this huge um, buyer shift um, that where you have the enterprise segment that is still um, a strong market, it's fairly flat. Um, the, where you see a huge CAGR is in this um, scale infrastructure. Um, and the, these are some of the, uh, the segments of it. And the behaviors that you're seeing being requested or required by these customers is very similar from the hyperscale customers. Part of the reason why is you had a lot, of, a lot of employees, a lot of people that were working for the Googles, the Amazons, the Facebooks. As those companies matured and they IPO'd and they got their money, you know, some of them took their money, went to the Bahamas, others kind of needed to still work. So they started venturing out. And as these other companies like the, the Twitters, um, you know, the Airbnbs, as they started forming, they looked at getting personnel that had already been there, done that at the scale level. And they're coming into these companies and they're expecting some of the same re uh, requirements out of the hardware. They want some of the same behaviors um, from the software. And, and this is kind of where we're also trying to address some of the features and functionalities for these customers. Um, you know, the, the question came up, um, where, you know, is the smarts in the hardware, is the smarts in the software? And I think Brian says it was in the both. I, I agree with him. Um, you know, one of the things that we try to do is we try to, you know, innovate at, at the hardware. And, and I got some little models here that, I, that I'll talk about. In fact, uh, I kind of felt like uh, Batman to, to the Joker of Louis looking at this and goes, man, where do you get these wonderful toys? So, uh, um, you know, I'll talk a little bit about this. Um, but the difference is when you innovate on the hardware, your runway is pretty short uh, as far as the competition coming right behind you. So we have, to pretty, we have to turn pretty quickly. We have to really look at how to optimize. 
And that's really a big piece of this segment is optimization. Optimization uh, of density, optimization of power. Um, how, how can you save you know, two watts off a motherboard? If you have 10,000 servers, 100,000 servers, you're saving two watts. That saves a significant amount of money on your electric bill at the end of the year. Um, when you're the largest of the large and you're buying 100,000 servers, it's easy to go to a Dell and say, I want it exactly like this. Where you're not one of the largest of the large and you're a guy that buys maybe 5,000 servers a year, it, it's hard to show the, the business case to go build a customized server just for your workload. However, what we're trying to do is look at the segment and look at the people that are um, in those three to 5,000 servers a year and seeing if we can build solutions that hit the fat of the bat with those customers. Um, go to the next slide. So if we look at just the, the, the Dell uh, product portfolio from, from servers, um, of course you've heard a good bit about PowerEdge and you've got the core which is, is really trying to sell to thousands of customers. Where at the other end of the spectrum where you get DCS, we're trying to sell to maybe a dozen or dozens of customers, but they're buying thousands and thousands of servers um, at, a, at a pop. DSS is, like I said, about hundreds of customers, about the one to 2K servers each. Um, so I like this slide. I think it kind of stratifies the, the product portfolio pretty good. And it kind of points to where we're, where we're focused. 